Partial judges in this, the garnish is quite it's amazing, exquisite. As you saw from the beforehand shot. Did you yes. smell it? Oh, let me see. It's fine. You don't know right there. Mm. Mm. It's like this yeah. lemon zest. There's lemon zest, of course. With the soy sauce here. and cilantro. Quite a sauce and delicious. Brings out the flavor. Mm-hmm. Noodles cooked to mm. perfection. <laughs> Brian, right. me. Taking a bite so into noodles. it. Let's speak. I like the sweetness of the onion. That is very tasty. Yeah, that is really good sweetness. Might be the lemon zest. Probably, Probably the lemon zest. Yeah, that has a lot of flavor in it. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. It's got some nice texture too with the crunchiness of the onion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I would change anything, I would probably use a different noodle because the ramen kind of just starts sticking together. Yeah. Yeah. It's settled in the. I'm also Burn tasting. Out. The beef. Mm-hmm. The beef. I, I like it. Napoleon. Mm-hmm. I think if I'd done a little bit more of the packets and some more bouillon, you could have brought it more through. But good. Can I get some? If anything, I would say maybe larger slices of carrots. Yeah. The carrot kind of gets lost. Yeah. I I was just worried it would be raw. Mm. So. Mm-hmm. But right next time, I really want to like shred <laughs> the carrot so it's really long and like thin. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to overdose on garnish. <laughs> now, the most important part of every meal is how does the garnish taste. So we're going <laughs> to take don't. a bite of this garnish. Rolls up a joint. It's not going to be good. Does it taste like lemon cilantro? It actually does. It really it. tastes kind of good. Well, I'm going to try it. Make sure to get some seeds in there. Yeah, yeah. The oregano and the lemon zest really complement each other. What did I say? Oregano. That's not bad though, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's surprising. I don't mind that. It was pretty dead. It's freaking garnish. I don't know what we do that, bro. Like, we go to Blackberry Diner and I'd eat the orange and lettuce they gave me. <laughs> Just because, like, it's food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And my dad yelled at me and he said, Don't eat that. Idiot. They poison it on purpose to kill you. Yeah. To kill fools who don't know what to do. Mm. Yeah. Good stuff. I don't know. Not I think it's becoming a member of the clean law. I don't think I was that. Had to give it to him. The fans. Thanks. The loyal fans. Yeah. How many fans? shots of Apple should you think? <laughs> Do that next. Oh, hot chocolate. We're gonna throw up. Why didn't we do that first? No. 
Depends on how many shots we do. That's oh, right. really? Silver belly? Why'd you call me silver belly? Opposite of lead belly. Are we done recording? I mean, it's still recording, but you're doing an outro. He's editing, dude. I have no. I'm not touching it. It's my video, though. So, so, yeah. Yeah. We can record like an outro if I have one. 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 Okay, what are S? I'm 10 on 9 right now. The same thing I did with the bra. I just went to do an outro. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm proud of you, Coop. This has been Cooking with Cooper. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. No, cringe. Cringe and bake. This is going to be way more low key than most of our videos. Yeah. So, so this is what I like with Cooper. Okay. Not really low key, it's just like chill. It's very chill.